In this video, I will give you an overview of the DCDAL payment dashboard. The payment dashboard provides you with convenient access to metrics, useful for guiding payment agents, and understanding overall agent performance. Please be aware that the dashboard view differs depending on the user level. The payment agents will only see the payments assigned to them. Manager users will see the payments collected by their team members and admin users will see all the payments. To access the payment dashboard, log in to the admin portal and click on the payment icon. Next, select payment dashboard from the available options. The top section provides a summary of payments divided into groups. The processed payments capture the payment amount collected manually or through DC dial. The post-dated payments indicate the amount yet to be collected. The failed payments show the number of declined transactions. Finally, the total shows the number of processed, post-dated, and failed payments. The green and red graphs indicate how the statistics changed compared to the same period in the past for processed and failed payments or in the future for post-dated payments. In the yellow one, that there were no changes. You can set a different view by changing the date range or applying the payment owner filter. This allows you to view only the payment data applicable to a specific payment agent within the set date range. Click on Clear All to go back to the default view. Scrolling down, you will see the payments report. Right now, I'm on the process payments report. Select the corresponding window to update the graph with the post-dated payments data, failed payments, or total payments. You can modify the graph by changing the date range and selecting different chart types here. Finally, let's take a look at the detailed report. You can manage payments, send email receipts, create new payment schedules, and more from the following table. Let's take a closer look at each one. The first column displays the customer's account details such as an account ID, lead ID, name, and campaign the customer belongs to. Next, you can see payment owner assigned to each payment. You can choose to change the payment owner for the current selection, remaining payments, or the entire series. To change the payment owner for multiple payments at once, Select the payments from the list. The Change Payment Owner button appears in the top right-hand corner. Back to the report, the following columns display the payment details data such as the transaction date, total amount, status, source, and payment method. For ACH payments, you will see a green dollar icon. Select the Current Balance option if you want to check the customer's available balance on their bank account in real time. To get more advanced information, check the Account Transactions option. It allows you to view all transactions on the account. You can browse through transactions and filter the results by applying advanced filters. For easy access, you're able to export the transaction activity in a PDF, Excel, or CSE format, or print it right away. Please be aware that this data is available only if your customer logged into their bank account via Plaid when making a payment through the customer portal. Finally, let's explore the Actions toolbar. From here, you can send a payment receipt copy and process an additional payment. By clicking on this icon, you can create a new payment schedule. Click on this icon to preview the scheduled payments. Finally, the log will provide you with a payment activity summary. The Actions toolbar for post-dated payments also allows you to modify the schedule. The Actions toolbar for failed payments gives you an additional option to retry a failed payment.
If you need to look up a specific payment, type in the keywords in the search bar to filter your results. This concludes our payment dashboard overview today. I hope this video was helpful for you. Check the description below for more videos about DCL payments and I will see you in our next video.